Hey what is going guys, I'm Dale from Android and in this video let's take a look at Android 7.1.2 Nougat based Android Ice Cold Project Custom ROM for the Xiaomi Redmi 4 aka the Redmi 4X. So as always in order to install the custom ROM your device needs to have TWRP recovery installed. So if you haven't already links for tutorial videos will be in the description below and I will leave cards right here as well so check it out. So now head on to the description and you will find 3 files, 3 links to 3 zip files. The first one will be a firmware zip file and the second one the ROM file and the third one the gaps file. So if you are installing this ROM, if you are installing the AICP ROM over a Marshmallow based MIUI ROM, then you need to download all the 3 zip files including the firmware file. But if you are installing this ROM over an Android 7 Nougat based MIUI ROM, then you don't have to flash the firmware zip file or you don't have to download the firmware zip file. So now place the downloaded files in the internal storage of your device and power off your device and reboot into recovery mode by holding the volume up, down and the power button all together at the same time. So once in decorative mode, select wipe, select advanced and select cache, Dalvi cache, system and data and swipe to wipe. Now go back, select install and now once again, if you are installing this ROM over an Android Marshmallow based ROM, then you have to flash the firmware zip file, but I'm flashing this over a nougat based ROM so I don't need to flash the firmware file. So now flash the ROM file. Now go back and flash the Google Apps zip file. And now select reboot system. So as always, the first boot into the new ROM is gonna take quite a bit of time, so just sit back and relax. So now the device has booted up, I'll set up the ROM and I'll be back. So now I have finished setting up the ROM and the ROM is actually very similar to that of the Lineage OS ROM which we saw earlier in terms of bugs and stability because just like in Lineage OS ROM, here also there's no support for Vivo LTE and IO Blaster and the recent apps button does not work. So you just have to use the long press home button action to launch recent apps instead of the traditional recent apps button. But apart from these, everything else like the flashlight, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, GPS, camera, everything else works without any issues. And one thing to do note is that the ROM is not pre-rooted, so you have to flash super user file and root it for yourself. So yeah, apart from the minor things like the VOLT, IR Blaster and recent apps button, the ROM is actually very stable for an initial build. And that's mainly thanks to the really talented developers who worked on this ROM. So I will leave a link to the XDA thread of this ROM so that you can follow the development of the ROM and you can also thank the developers of this ROM for the ROM. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video guys. If you like this video, hit the like button and for more videos, hit the subscribe button. And if you have any queries regarding the ROM or anything tech in general, you can leave it in the comment section below. And I will leave links to other custom ROMs for it before X in the description below. So don't forget to check that as well. And I will see you guys later. See ya.